Hey, what is up, everybody? Uh, and welcome to another episode of Eddie's Customs and Restorations. This video has nothing to do with cars. This video has everything to do with travel trailers or campers or RVs. Okay, um, this is just a short video on what I did to unclog my uh, my shower. So I was in the middle of the shower and I, I noticed that the floor or the bottom of the of the shower was getting full. So on these RVs, a lot of times what happens is, of course, all the plumbing is very specific for all this stuff. And it's made to work as far as, you know, making it kind of simple and easy. Um, so the way they have this routed is, let me turn the camera around. The sink is over on this side. Okay, so right now we were in the restroom, which is over there. And the sink is right here, right? So the way they have it all set up is the plumbing for the sink, you know, runs under all this. But the drain, of course, you see the, the drain right here. That goes down and under and then comes down to here and then follows the line to outside to the to the drain you know to your to your gray to the gray water tank and of course here's the toilet so black water tank is also um right under here uh so anyway the the bottom of the shower was filling up with water okay and what happened was every single time of course if you wash dishes and everything things tend to settle somewhere along down here right so it's very frustrating when you're when you're washing dishes and all that that you get soap right here so if you i mean obviously we all use a considerable amount of soap we start seeing foaming and everything from the soap right here on the bottom so anyway over time that created a clog okay so i was taking a shower and the bottom section of all this filled up so what i ended up doing i didn't have any tools i took the that little the little deal off i don't know if you want to call that like a strainer or a filter or something not a filter but like a strainer so you can catch all the hairs and all that so i just pulled that off it comes off real easy you just stick something in there like a little hook and it pulls right off uh I pulled that off. I tried sticking something in there and nothing would work. I, I I don't have one of those little snake slinky deals that go all the way in there to clean everything out. So, got online and read up that you can use baking soda and vinegar. Well, I didn't have vinegar. All I had was baking soda. So, I poured a whole bunch of baking soda in there. Uh, maybe not a whole bunch, but maybe maybe like this much of the box from the top. So from the top to the bottom, you know, it's not very much, okay? So I poured that in there to kind of create like a little bubbling effect. And um, then I came over here to the sink. I covered, I covered that, filled up the sink to about this level. So maybe about that much water in the sink and uh, i put a little bit of dish soap in there and then after that just kind of mix it all in because the dish soap of course is uh it, it's kind of like a lubricant it'll lubricate the passage and everything so i did that and i came over here and when i released that you might need two people to do this so i have somebody to to be at the sink and another person come over here and get ready put your hand right here on top of this and then you tell the person to loosen to to take that uh cover off and you're gonna start to feel a lot of pressure coming from this you can wear a glove and everything um you're gonna start to feel a lot of pressure at the bottom of your hand and if you do that means that the water does not want to go down to where it's supposed to go it, it stops and then it starts to want to overfill this and fill this whole thing up even worse so what you do is you hold it tell somebody over there to take the cover off and when they do you're gonna start to to 
kind of bounce your hand around like that and create and replicate what you normally would do in a uh, in a toilet situation where you have a clog in your toilet okay so what do you do you you use a plunger right to to unclog your toilet well you're basically doing the same thing and replicating that plunger effect where you're gonna be kind of like like pushing the water and letting it off pushing it letting it off and all that and eventually all that uh fluctuating movement is going to unclog what you got going on in your plumbing down there and you'll hear it when it unclogs and then everything will just go back in uh, but of course be prepared just in case that does not work for you uh, if it's some kind of crazy, crazy clog that it just will not come off. I mean, mine did. Uh, basically, all I all I did was that, you know, just replicate what a plunger does. And be ready with some towels, you know. Um, a couple of towels just in case you got you to gotta fill up those towels with water. And, you know, maybe a bucket on the side. Just to be on the safe side, just in case that doesn't work. You do not want water coming down to your floor, to your floors. Cause you will ruin your RV okay so that pretty much sums it up for the video uh, it was just a quick tip on this I know it's a little it's already turned into a six minute video but this will help RVers out there if uh, I don't normally do RV videos but if you're watching this and you do have an RV I do car videos um, uh, how to videos on how to repair stuff on your vehicles uh, later on, I'll, I'll start putting videos of, of firearms, uh, reviews on firearms that I that I have of my own, and um, so yeah, please subscribe if uh, any of that interests you in the in the future or that you care to know about any of that stuff. Even if you have ideas of what videos to make, throw them at me. Let me know. You all have a, a blessed full day and um, take care of yourself. Thank you.